Alright, welcome back to jobskillshare.org and this video will go under the operating systems. Let's see, it's gonna go under this section basic OS walkthrough, operating system walkthrough. Meaning, we just got this uh, Windows 10 right here and we're gonna do a basic run through. Meaning, What's in what's in Windows 10? I mean, what is it for us, an IT person, a help desk people? So we're gonna just gonna start with the the front. Uh, what do we have on the screen desktop here? Here's something new. This search. It's called Cortana. Okay, so let's see how it reacts to our site. I'm just gonna type my site job. Skill. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to do job skill. Job skill share. Uh, let's just click on that. And let's see what it comes to. Oh, look at that. As soon as you click on job skill share, Bing gave us a nice um, and uh, good results too. So that's a good thing. So you can see right here we have another uh, names in there too, registration, YouTube or channel. So it's pretty smart system. Basically, it's like a, it's kind of like Google. You know, you put something in there and it just looks for it, and then it has a lot of other features. So once you guys get used to it, I think this will be a very good tool for us to kind of play around. You know, if you want to find something quickly in a Microsoft troubleshooting or something like that, answers. Microsoft answers if there's an issue with the operating system uh, I think this would be a good tool for us to use that's an, uh, that's searching part then we have this task view right here you can click on that and see things in that it, can, it will just go down and you, if you have multiple tasks open so let's say for example if I open my uh, this right here Explorer and let's say if I open a calculator uh, let's open that and then do the task view right here and you see how it nicely uh, put everything in blocks so if if you have a very very uh, big project that you have multiple things going on then you can just do use this features pretty good then we have this uh, nice cool Microsoft Edge you know the good thing about this is like it strips down everything like it you don't see any junk on the right side left side it's just that whatever you're looking for it gives you that uh, that's kind of cool that's neat you know a lot of people look for this option right here like you know where do I type my um, link and that's kind of confusing though because you know how it grays out look at this it grays out so seems like people will get have little struggle finding this like you know just normal users they will be calling you guys that how do I put full URL because somebody's used to putting full facebook.com so they'll get used to it you know how like in Microsoft Internet uh, the Internet Explorer you have to right click and do the menu which I really like you know you could go to tools and stuff like that they don't have this over here so you gotta click on these little three I call it dots or eclipse whatever you guys call it more actions so if you click on that you get more options here so open with right here find more uh, settings let's see what we have in settings and pretty much basic settings I mean you can do pr play around with this stuff this is pretty new stuff so you'll have to kind of play around with it because a lot of people will be using it now so my suggestion to you guys is to know how to reset this thing know how to work on it uh, play around look for the sites and then do a reset on this see if you can do all that kind of troubleshooting stuff not too much uh, surfing you know that's a user part they're gonna do a lot of surfing you're gonna be doing more of troubleshooting so I'll look into settings more than just you playing around and doing um, surfing and where do you find all your downloads and favorite stuff if you click on this right here uh, favorites and this history and then download but let's say you want Internet Explorer 
the old one you just click here um, go to search or oh, actually let's go to apps and see what we have here so in apps we have all that stuff context get office that's gonna be a new one mail Microsoft Edge movie and TV OneDrive uh, then we have all this settings let's go to settings and how the settings will look here oh look at that pretty different um, look from Windows 8 system display right here um, a lot of time you get calls from the display you know when they do the um, PowerPoints and stuff I think this will be important for you guys to know that also you guys can right click on the desktop and find things but there's some options right here like you know let's go to accounts and you guys can see I'm logged in as that I'm an administrator I can log in with my Microsoft account sign in option you have more sign in options here let's click on that so you get more options like pin you can put that uh, picture password never did that but yeah you can do that so uh, it seems like you have more security options now uh, work access that will be probably VPN stuff <clears throat> and you guys can see they have uh, added uh, this right here this is pretty much new feature this is where they are going right now Active Directory stuff um, and you can do sync your settings if you want to do that so that's pretty cool Explorer looks the same let's do this option right here because we use this a lot for hidden items when we play around with the uh, Outlook files and signatures uh, kinda the same I mean not a big difference as you can, guys can see L looks like Windows 8 alright another important part would be right click here and go to task manager that would be something you guys should look and this is what you will see processes uh, app history is a good one right there gives you some more information startups is going to be another one a lot of time people call my computer is slow then you work on this details users services so the Internet Explorer yeah I was going to show you guys that if you type Internet Explorer right there a desktop app so you can just drag and drop if somebody's really missing Internet Explorer you can just you can drag and drop actually do this right click and pin to start or we can do pin to taskbar right here so if I click on this one this will give me the the one that we are used to and that will be let's click on that what's that 11 that's 11 so uh, yeah we're pretty much used to this one you right click here you go to um, let's see what we have here let me see if they already have menu bar right there this is what I was talking about so you go to tools and you know most of the time 99.9% .9 we just come here in the options and do delete or if that doesn't work we just go to advance do reset and then do delete personal settings and then everything is good to go okay that's how I mean I already did the internet uh, troubleshooting video so I'm not gonna go through this this is just a basic quick look around and I think another big thing would be the apps like if your company use a lot of apps Microsoft Office 365 and um, the built-in Windows apps then this is gonna be a big one uh, and it depends how your administrator control your apps so yeah that will be another one to look around um, now everything is great I love Windows 10 so far I'm not gonna complain because I've been using it in this is an old computer and Windows 7 was a little slow on this machine and I can tell you seriously I was having a little trouble this is really fast right now so I'm going to show you guys something else that as a technician or I guess if someone else want to look into a little bit more details or how to uh, access things quickly by just using uh, the start menu that I use the classic shell I call so go to Google I don't know why I searched Google for Google wow okay anyways type classic 
shell. All right, so when you do that, just do classic shell here. Go to uh, download and then click on 4.2.4. This is the latest one, and click on run. and click on next and click on next next install click yes look how fast this is alright I don't wanna jinx it alright alright so now if I click on this start what's gonna happen this message will come and then you basically click on OK and now if I click on all this look at this everything like Windows 7 uh, and that kind of look the reason I like this it's for us I mean I don't know about anyone else but for technicians we're so used to this also and also to get things quickly is one of the main things and you know sometimes you install a software on a user computer and then you want to know where is it installed uh, how to quickly get it to it this is the best way to look quickly when you click on start and then go to all programs and then you see the file will be right here with a different color so that's the best thing and another quicker way you know how the uh, settings were really different in it so if you click on this one this is like same Windows 7 uh, everything in detail right there and the powerful one the search one so you got this powerful search tool and then this one at the same time so and then run another one I mean this is another one like if you want to do MS config from here and all those troubleshooting things and run commands quickly uh, this will be really easy for you so I as a technician I put this on my computer maybe some other power user might say you know what I don't like the look of Windows 10 still don't like it I wanna get something better for like you know searching my folders or getting to my files and things like that then you know consider this option maybe you want to apply this on all the computers uh, and put it as an image or something so this is it next video we are going to do a file uh, updates meaning all the common files we need to update it right now automatically everything in there so then we're gonna do a full backup of the system so then if something goes down I'm not gonna waste two more hours to get everything back to this point so that's the main goal of another video which we're gonna start with the files first and then we're gonna take an image and then we're gonna have a nice image if something goes wrong we'll put it back in 20 minutes or 30 minutes but I'm not gonna spend two hours to do all this thank you